Hi, this is Charles Hoskinson calling in live from sunny Gold Coast. Always warm, always sunny, sometimes Gold Coast. And today, I'm f***ing pissed off with the FUD Coin Bureau is spreading about KYC AML. Let's get straight into it. Unfortunately, Charles had to leave us urgently as he was called in to run an exclusive offer. If you were sending him 1,000 ADA, he would send you back 5,000. But he did leave us the little rabbit lobster on the microphone. So we'll leave that to the side and dive straight into the video. Charles has set the record straight on the FUD about KYC AML on the wallets, on Cardano blockchain, on the protocol, which we'll dive into in today's video. Plus, look at Solana as well as that thing has been pumping hard. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, all the good stuff down below. And watch me and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Lots of crypto updates over there too. I am very fortunate to have a large audience on YouTube, but maybe after that performance, I won't anymore. But let's move on to the next piece. And I first just want to get into Patreon if you guys are interested. Link is down below. Early adopters, 33% off. We can see there we got 80 left. This is the best time to be getting in at the beginning of the month. So wait until the 1st of September if you want to join us in Patreon to learn more about trading crypto and more market psychology around the market, sharing my exclusive thoughts over there as well. Uh, links to this are down below. Let's first have a look at Bitcoin and ETH, give us an update over there. The markets have been going a little bit crazy over the last 24 hours, in particular the last several hours as I'm filming this video at, at midday on the 31st of August. And it's pretty much in due to this bar here as the market fell. 3.7%, or at least Bitcoin was down about 3.7%. I saw a lot of tweets going on and people getting overly excited to buy the dip. Maybe it's a good time, maybe not. You know the, the areas that I'm looking at in particular for Bitcoin. And if it doesn't get down there, then I just cop it and buy on the confirmed breakout. That's the way I trade. If you like to buy the dip, it's a different story. But uh, that is pretty much all we are getting over the last 24 hours. And that's the excitement that I've seen on Twitter myself. Uh, when you zoom out, it's really not that big of an issue, you know, a few percent down. So Bitcoin pretty much in this trading range, maybe holding the support at around that 47, 46 and a half thousand dollar area. If not, personally, I like the buying opportunities a little further down. Ethereum, quick update before we get into the Cardano news. ETH BTC chart, the dollar pretty stable as well, but it has just moved against the Bitcoin value because Bitcoin has fallen, but ETH is holding its dollar value and of course will then have to rise against its Bitcoin value to maintain the US dollar value. So that's how these charts work. If you're ever trying to figure out why would I care about the Bitcoin chart over the USD chart, you want to be gaining on both because long term we think Bitcoin is going up. So if it goes up against Bitcoin and against US dollar, we are making extra, extra bank. So ETH is up at the moment, which to me looks quite strong as it didn't fall as Bitcoin fell as well. Now onto Charles Hoskinson's outrage this morning with FUD on compliance. So as you can probably see from the title, I'm looking at Charles clearing up the FUD. Of course, some stuff on Solana and Bitcoin and ETH update. So this is the notes. These are the notes that I have here. Uh, this was Charles Hoskinson's quote from the video this morning. And sorry if you're offended by a little bit of profanities. I've beeped that out at the beginning of the video, but essentially this is Charles on his video this morning. Think it effing through people. Uh, notes, no KYC AML on the Cardano base protocol, no KYC AML on Cardano DeFi, no KYC AML on decentralized wallets, Daedalus, Yoroi, Adalite, etc. No KYC on AML required to use the Cardano protocol, but they are... Uh, bringing in KYC AML tools, uh, they're being imported, enhanced, upgraded for the regulated actors, developers, standard bodies, etc., uh, for Cardano to stay in compliance with the law. And we'll hear from Charles now in this video, words from the horse's mouth. Because I am seeing a lot of FUD and strange articles and bizarre things floating around from Coin Bureau and from uh, Weiss and others every single cryptocurrency that's real legitimate and to scale has entities who interact with it who are regulated in some jurisdiction okay that can be the united states the european union other places every single one of those regulated entities to comply with the laws of the land require tools 
capabilities, forensic items, and so forth. We call those KYT, KYC, AML, KYB. As Cardano has grown to such a level of prominence, those tools are now being ported, upgraded, and enhanced for those regulated actors to do what they need to do for Cardano to stay in compliance with the law. This in no way means that KYC and AML is coming into Daedalus. This in no way means KYC and AML is a prerequisite for the use of the Cardano protocol, like TCP IP or any other open protocol. The protocol is government and regulation agnostic. I thought this would be obvious for people, but apparently it's not. So it needs to be said. Think it fucking through. No one gets to decide who gets to use this system and how people get to use this system. However, regulated actors and other users who wish to do regulated activity need to go above and beyond the base programming of the underlying protocol, what we've constructed, and use tools and special software in order to stay compliant within their domain, like an ATM vendor or Coinbase or any other exchange, or government agency, or tax compliance, whatever these things may be. At no time has there ever been a discussion about pulling this into the base layer of the protocol. It's not even clear to me how such a thing would be done. If there was compliance in Daedalus, what, what regime would there be compliance under? Who would decide that? It's open source software that's completely decentralized. And again, to make sure people don't misunderstand or change the statements or continue to FUD, this does not mean that all DeFi on the system is in compliance with a particular regime. Or as a DeFi developer, you must follow some design pattern to be in compliance. Just like Bitcoin, just like Ethereum, anyone who's building an application can choose where they wish to live in a white area, a gray area, or a red area. It's their prerogative and decision, not ours. All we do as infrastructure providers is build tools and give those tools out to the world as open source software for people to use as they see fit for their business domain. I think that's a basic concept and in full adherence with the rather libertarian principles of cryptocurrencies in general. Live and let live and let others live the way they desire. So there was a dig from Charles Hoskinson towards Coin Bureau spreading FUD around the KYC implications on Cardano. This was in Coin Bureau's video this morning. I don't think there was any harm given there. Always make sure you like the video up if you haven't already. I don't think there was any harm given there by Guy. It made sense to me. This is the article that Guy is referencing. Cardano Foundation partners with Coin Firm for Fat F and 6AMLD compliance. The non-profit organization behind Cardano has partnered with blockchain analytics provider CoinFirm to ensure ADA is in compliance with the Financial Action Task Force's guidelines. Okay, so it's the foundation. Uh, Cardano Foundation said it would be using CoinFirm's services to provide AML and combating, I think maybe it's combating, but you'd let me know, combating the financial financing of terrorism, CFT, analytics for Cardano's native currency, According to the foundation, the integration will allow the project to be in full compliance with the guidelines. It sounds a little iffy, maybe from within this article, and maybe I'm just not reading it right. You guys can obviously let me know there, but it does sound like that, and that's what Guy has referenced in his video as well. According to the foundation, the integration integration will allow the project to be in full compliance with the guidelines. Okay, but as Charles pointed out, just to be clear, there's no AM, uh, there's no KYC AML on the decentralized nature or the decentralized pieces of the project. AML, CFT, analytics is essential for a cryptocurrency to receive mass adoption within regulated markets, said Cardano Foundation Head of Technical Integrations, Mel McCann. The tools and services provided by CoinFirm enable every exchange, custodian, and all other third parties to clearly track the history of ADA held in their wallets. So if you want to be a part of that, you can. And by the sounds of it, as a guy has also pointed out in this video, that seems to be the way the European Union 6th AML directive is going. So if they want to know what it is you're doing with your wallets. And of course, 
we don't want that. We want to be anonymous from these governing bodies and just hold our ADA in our wallets, earning our interest. Maybe you think differently. Let me know in the comments down below. CoinFirm said it would be able to provide the same AML CFT analytics for assets minted on Cardano as well. Okay, so NFTs that are coming onto it, other projects, that, those same analytics can be provided in the same AML CFT analytics for the assets. So they'll be able to see those as well. Let's have a look at the ADA price. And I've got ADA BTC first. Not much has happened to it. I don't think it's much FUD to be overly concerned with uh, as it hasn't affected anything here. But maybe the use in your particular jurisdiction, that might come into question in the future. And that's what I would just be on alert for. And I believe that's what Guy was talking about in his video. I, I would also agree with that. Just be on alert for which jurisdictions are trying to come after your assets. And in this case, ADA Bitcoin, not much has happened over the last one, two, three, four days. We're basically at the same price as we were eight days ago. So ADA BTC is looking good. Now ADA USD, $2.73. Had a little bit of a tumble here, but not too bad. We are still in our zone that we have been watching for some time and we want it to remain above the old all-time high, at least at least in the zone of, I like the, the highest close, the highest previous close and the current all-time high. So that also lines up reasonably well with the swing top before we broke out into new all-time high territory. So anything in this zone is looking safe for me. Uh, again, I could be completely wrong and we could dump from this point, but we'll continue to cover that on the channel just in case we find any more signs, say, of swing lows breaking down or uh, support levels breaking down as well. So ADA is continuing to hold up even with the FUD, even with uh, Charles Hoskinson coming out and clearing the FUD on the KYC AML. Now, of course, we have to cover Solana as well. Just a quick update here as the market continues to skyrocket. $116.00. It is now hitting the second target. So this was the 200% zone of the entire range. So this 200% is based off of the all-time low and the previous all-time high. One, That's 100% move. So about a $58 move projected 100% on top of this point. Nice round hit at 200% there. And you can see that yesterday came up and hit that. Will that stop the market at this stage? I don't think so. I could be wrong. But just the fact that it has held the market up for at least these last several hours looks pretty cool that this range is working. So then I would look to my next targets of around 152 and then 174. So keep in mind here that the market has risen from these lows that were set at around at 20 19 dollars and now the highest point has hit at a 116 dollars okay so that's up 508 percent that is from these lows that came in during the may correction so may correction june correction july correction keep that in mind if you are looking to enter a position here i'm not telling anyone not to buy or to buy but remember there are going to be people that are up maybe 400 or 500 percent may look to take profits in the future as well. And as this rises every $20, they're up another 100% because they're buying at 20 bucks. So it only has to go up $20 for them to get another 100%. But for anyone buying at this point at $110, $111, you need this thing to go up a lot to get anywhere near 100%. And so the risk becomes exponentially greater for the potential reward. For, our, for the next target I have, it's only about a 36% rise. You know, it's only going to be about a 36% gain. And then the downside is obviously reasonably larger uh, looking at where these support zones are. So that's something to keep in mind if you get the FOMO and want to get into a market that's, that's shooting up. There is money to be made, but just be careful of your reward and risk. Today's sponsor is New Brighton Capital for the Australians. If you want to get your retirement fund, your superannuation into cryptocurrencies, metals or property, check out the link down below. Book in your free 20-minute consultation. You get 150 bucks of free credit if you use Pazino as the referral code uh, when completing your SMSF application. So that's if you want to get your super money into other areas of investing and looking after your own financial future. Check out the link down below for, for New Brighton Capital using 
Pazino as a referral code. That's it for today's video, guys. If you are interested in joining us on the Patreon group, make sure you check out the link down below. 33% off. It is 39 US dollars per month or for the Aussies, 53 per month. Lots of weekly updates, exclusive posts and exclusive interviews as well. So check it out. Links are down below. Thanks once again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the intro. I'll see you guys at the next video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, hit all so you can see all the videos pop up in your news feed. I'll see you on Instagram and on Twitter, but I'll also see you at the next video. So until then, have more fun to get more done.